Greetings, one and all, from the Second Age of Reason. I'm just thinking thoughts today. I just have a lot of thoughts. And I'm thinking about things in our government. You know, I'm thinking about the executive branch. The executive branch is supposed to enforce the laws. And so it comprises mostly the president and the police and um, maybe the armed services. So that's the executive branch. And then laws are made by the legislative branch. And laws are vetted by the judiciary branch. And that's how things are in this three-point balance. But it seems to me that the balance is getting imbalanced. The chief executive goes and he makes executive orders. Executive orders are where the executive makes his own law by passing Congress. And then somebody said one, once upon a time, what about that Bradley Manning guy? Why don't you let him go? He's not charged with anything. And the president simply said, he committed a crime. So he belongs where he is. It's like, well, somebody has also appointed himself judge and jury and jailer. So he's kind of take bypass the judiciary on that one. Congress is supposed to make laws. But on that's on one hand. But they don't follow the Constitution, so they make unconstitutional laws, like the Patriot Act. They do unconstitutional things. They make themselves exempt from laws. And they go around and uh, it just seems like they have kind of are making themselves irrelevant. And then the judiciary and the Supreme Court especially, cases work their way through the system. Now the judiciary has been getting more corrupt. And so people can't get justice at the lower levels of the courts. And so they chase their case up through the local courts or the state courts, the appellate courts, and finally the Supreme Court of the states, and they've all been bought out. And so they can't get justice. So they finally make their special letter to try and get it heard by the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court just blows them off and says, that's none of our business. So what good are they? So, I'm just thinking now, all of these institutions of our government have their foundation in the Constitution. And if they are so oblivious to the Constitution, if they are so um, ignoring it, violating it, it seems to me that that Constitution gives them their whole existence. And if they are totally dissing it and ignoring it, haven't they nullified their justification for existence as our government? Doesn't that make you a bit nervous that our government is maybe not looking out after the people anymore? they're looking out after something else. I mean, if they're not going to support the Constitution, and the Constitution is their whole reason for existence, technically they don't exist. So it might be that you and me will have to be the ones that carry on the Constitution. You and me may have to relook at this whole thing. And this is where a lot of people are starting to start thinking. I mean, you could try to join into the system, but they would try to corrupt you as well. So we have to think about our future. We have to think about what are we going to do? Can we make our congressmen listen? I've been writing to them. And they send thank you letters. But I could tell they really don't get it. So I'm just thinking... It's time to start thinking about the future. Is America going to even be relevant? 
is all of its trouble and debt it's getting debts it's getting into going to nullify its sovereignty it's all the interdependence that's been woven amongst the nations and economies also compromising its uh, independence I mean the Constitution is one thing the Declaration of Independence is another if you don't recognize the sovereignty and self-determination of peoples what right do you have to exist so it's kind of my little independence message my little protest message because it seems to me that more and more they have nullified their justification for existence and perhaps we might want to plan for the next generation. Well, anyway, enough of me rambling on. So, until later, we'll be seeing you.